for today's project I thought I'd show you how to make some of these little dry onions. Um, I made a lot so they could fill a basket up for my uh, produce stand. So stay tuned and see how easy this really is, even though it looks kind of complicated, it's not. Stay tuned, you'll see how. All right, we're gonna need a variety of clay colors. For the center of this batch of onions, I'm going to use a really pale yellow, and this was just some leftover clay that was a white and translucent mix, probably about 50-50, and then I just added a touch of just a yellow. Uh, you want it really pale. I also made some earlier with this cane that had just a really pale green, and I did some that were just pale, just white, the white and translucent by themselves. So I'll show you the, the finished ones in a little bit. We also need some caramel color. And this is female caramel, and we need to have this kind of thick, kind of a, a thick little pad of this. And then using four other colors. I've got some orange. Well, this one is mandarin specifically. Some kind of an orange. And I like to use two different dark browns. This one is chocolate. And this one is terracotta. And these I rolled out just as thin as I could on my pasta machine. We're not going to make a whole lot. We're not going to use all of this clay. We're going to cut this into about four pieces. And then I'm going to put little of this and these colors here are just straight out of the clay package nothing mixed with them so whatever's left of those that I don't put on here I can just throw back in the in the package doesn't have to be exact and we're gonna stack this so I've got a piece of let's start out with a piece of caramel actually and then one of the dark ones, an orange one. And then let's cut some of this other dark brown. Approximately the size of the caramel piece. Alright, now those pieces go off to the side to be put away. Now we have this funky looking stack. And I'm going to start squishing this. And yeah, it doesn't look like much from the side right now, but it will when we cut it open. What we're doing is we're making those stripes that are on the onion. Now I'm going to cut this. I'm going to throw this part away. This can go into my scrap clay. I'm going to cut a couple of pieces like that. Now we have stripes like that. And I'm going to push these together and get out my clay roller. I will put this through the machine later, through the pasta machine, but right now I want to get them kind of anchored together. It's okay if we get a little white on here, it doesn't matter. Line these up, kind of squish them together here at the seam, and again roll them. And now we want to make this just as thin as we can here, and now I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm just going to go to the pasta machine and roll this as thin as I can, running it through the pasta machine, always in this direction, never across, always this way. And I'll be right back. All right. This is now rolled just as thin as I could get it on my pasta machine. And it's pretty delicate. That's okay. And it's okay if this tears a little bit. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to take my cane that I made here. to roll this up. Did we get all the way around? We did get all the way around. If we hadn't gotten all the way around, we could have patched it. Now, I want to start pulling. I have cat hair on it. And now that I've pulled it out a little bit, I'm going to start making this longer. 
because our onion was about three inches in diameter and not quite a half inch long, we know about the size we want to go. But keep in mind that when you look at onions in the uh, grocery store or in the farmer's market or wherever, there's really big ones and there's really small ones. So it's okay if this isn't completely the same size and it's okay if the stuff splits there. You'll see in a minute I'm going to use that a little bit. So I've got this about, it's probably a little less than a quarter inch in some places, a little more in others. So I'm going to take the end and I'm going to close off the end. And I like to work from both ends at once. Now see, that's a little too much that's not quite right there. So I'll cut that back there. I like to work from both ends at the same time. That way I can cut two at once. Cut off a little bit. And now we have this. This is our little bit of our piece that we cut off the end. We're going to use this. So I'm going to stick this down to my tray. Come on, stick. Now, we've got this cane. It's mostly yellow with the skin. And the reason I like to have the yellow or the light colored center, it makes this outside more translucent. It makes it look more realistic. Just closing that end off and making this end pointed. I'm kind of making this a little bit rounder. I want this onion to be a little rounder. Now, where I sealed that shut, I take a little bit of this scrap clay that I made, that I had from my cane, from my skin. And I just make kind of a, a fluffy area. That's to look kind of like that. And there we go. Let's do it again. This end's already pointed. Kind of curl that down a bit. Kind of. And onions come in all shapes. Some are real round, some are more long. Some have a lot of roots, some have not much. Let's make a couple more. Again, take the end and close it off in a point. And remember, onions have this point where the tops dried off and came off. Let's do both ends so we can work on two at a time. Point. Some will be more pointed, some will be longer, some will be shorter, and that's fine. That's kind of what I'm looking for because I want to have variety in my basket of onions. I'm closing that down. And you don't have to close this all the way. You can leave a little open. It gives you a place to put your little roots. Whoops. Okay, that's all there is to it. So I'm going to continue to make some onions here. And when I get done, I'll show you how they look when they're all finished. Well, here's those onions fresh out of the oven. Uh, as you can see, they, I made them all different sizes. And, oops, so it's stuck together. Easy enough to get them apart. And mix them in here with the others I made earlier today. And I have quite a collection of onions. And because I made three different colors of centers, and I made the outside skin a couple of different times, I've got a good variety. It looks more realistic, in my opinion, to do it that way. But, on the other hand, you make a lot of onions. And I've still got more canes that I can cut up and make onions from. So, that's our project for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't stopped by the Facebook page or the blog, be sure and check those um, links out below. They're down in the description box below the video. Uh, show me what you're making too. I'd love to see pictures. Feel free to share pictures on the Facebook wall. And just have fun with those minis. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.